The data vault architecture, otherwise known as the macro view of the data vault. Let's uh, jump straight into it. So data, where, data vault is scalable data warehouse architecture. It is um, a refinement over the three, typical three-layer architecture. So let's look at the diagram. Here we have uh, the diagram of the three layers and the entire architecture. And the data flow is from left to right. So on the left, you have the source systems. So from the sales team, finance team, contracts, um, data get ingested through the staging layer onto the enterprise data warehouse layer. And finally, into the information mart, the information delivery layer on the right. So um, starting with the uh, ingestion systems, uh, we apply hard business rules to get the data into the staging area. Uh, what are hard business rules? Hard business rules are uh, basically just uh, data type impositions, which um, occur when you load data from one source to another. And um, this is where it gets into the staging layer. And uh, the staging layer is the layer that has no historization of data, and it has a temporary layer. Um, here, we apply no changes to the source data, only hard business rules get applied. And the common columns are computed here, hashes, load date, sources. So the, the data the, or the yeah, auxiliary data, which will be used for housekeeping purposes later on. And it is a compulsory layer in the data world architecture. Moving on, uh, there is the enterprise data warehouse layer, um, or the, simply the data vault layer, which uh, contains the raw vault, the business vault, metrics vault, and operational vault. And the raw vault is actually the only mandatory sub layer uh, there is uh, that we really need to have. So it is the heart of the data warehouse. Uh, it stores the data ingested from the source system without applying any changes to it. So it uh, contains maybe a business concept, let's say customer, and all the raw attributes of this customer. Like for example, uh, the birth date, the age, uh, the credit rating, and so on. So mainly just the data that we just source from the system uh, without any business logic applied to it. Uh, then we store all the data, good or bad, for auditing purposes in this uh, raw vault layer. And then uh, the business vault layer, which is an optional layer, uh, is an intermediate sub layer between the raw vault and the information mart layer. And uh, this is where the sub business rules get applied. Let's say you want to, um, based on certain conditions, uh, the, the customer gets flagged or not flagged. So you would need an additional column, let's say a Boolean value, true or false, uh, of whether the customer is flagged as being, uh, I don't know, uh, credit worthy or not, then um, you can do that in the business vault and compute that, uh, that uh, extra column. So uh, no need for materialization. Data can be exposed as views. Uh, new derived attributes are computed here from soft business rules. So that's, that's the business vault. And then you have other optional vaults uh, like metrics vaults where you capture runtime metadata to um, perhaps detect some computational bottlenecks. Uh, and the operational vault, which is a component for, uh, that is used for the use case of streaming data, uh, direct access to raw data from operational systems, reading and writing is supported faster and more efficient than using a data mart. Uh, and then finally, we, on the right, we have the um, information mart or data mart layer, which essentially exposes our data uh, to, the, to the data consumers, to the users. Um, we expose these data in, in forms of uh, reports or, or in star schemas. And um, to really uh, design this part of the architecture, it's best to sit down with the consumers and really ask them what kind of attributes or, or data they want to see and uh, arrive at the conclusion together. So this was an overview of the data 
vault of the data vault from a macro perspective. And uh, later on, Adrian will show you how it looks like from the micro perspective in the, in the modeling slides.